Now we're going to warm up our bodies. And like I said before, I'm a bit older than this one. So I'm just gonna do a gentle warm up that I like to call wiggles. Wiggles is just feeling a wiggle, right? We're gonna start with a wiggle at any point in our bodies. So I'm you can start with your eyebrows too, or you can start with your fingers, or you could start with your toes, shoulders. You oh Caitlin's gonna start with her toes, and I'm gonna start here. You could follow me or do your own thing as long as you are comfortable. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my wiggles, and what's really important is that this wiggle is going to move throughout my body. We're gonna to try to touch every part of our body. That's the goal. So let's start with wiggling. I'm starting with my eyebrows. Caitlin, you were starting with your what? Toes. Toes, great. So sometimes <laughs> I need help. So I'm gonna help my eyebrows wiggle. Great. Ooh, great, 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 great. Ooh, oh, that wiggle has moved to my cheeks. Okay, my cheeks are wiggling. Great, ooh, oh, okay. Now I feel it smooth to my nose. I'm gonna give it a little help because we all can use some help, right? Oh, nice wiggly nose, nice wiggly walls. Oh no, it's moving here. My cheeks again, but down to my jaw. Oh, I don't know about you, but I tend to hold a lot of stress in my jaw. I don't know why, but every once in a while, I'll catch myself doing this. Please, please don't laugh at me, but you can because I won't hear you. <laughs> I'll just be reading or washing the dishes <laughs> and I'll be doing this. <laughs> just glitching my jaw. So a lot of tension lives there for some weird reason. So uh, let's get that a wiggle. Oh, oh, and I feel the wiggle kind of moving. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Oh, now my wiggles. I've moved to my shoulders, yeah? Where are your wiggles? Where are your wiggles at? Mine are at my shoulders. Mine are at my arms. Oh, hello. Mine's are at my elbows now. Mine's are at my feet. That moved fast. That wiggle moved fast. Oh, oh, wrists. Hello, wiggles. Wiggles at my wrists. Where are your wiggles at, right? I'm in the same place. You're in the same place. Cool. Oh, now my fingers are getting in on the wiggle action, okay? Now my fingers are gonna get some special wiggle action. Cool, oh, my, thumb, my thumbs wanna do a solo. That's fine, that's fine, solo thumbs. Yeah. You, could do, you could have your wiggle spotlight. Oh, back up the wrists, back up the elbows, back up the shoulders, oh, and now my chest. My chest, oh, I kinda of feel it in my upper back, too. I don't know if you can see, I got some upper back wiggle action. Oh, Caitlin's doing it on her neck. Oh, now my belly is getting in on the action. My belly is getting in on the action. I might have to step back so you can see what's going on. Oh, now my hips are getting in on the action. I got some wiggles on my hips. Wiggles on my hips. Going back and forth and front and back and side to side and front and back. Oh, what are these called again? Thighs. Oh, these powerful, beautiful thighs are getting in on the wiggle action. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm gonna step on here so you can see my knees. My knees are getting in on the action. Oops, sorry. Oh, well, Caitlin's got her ears. Okay, where are your wiggles at? Where are your wiggles at? Nice. Oh, my ankles. My ankles wanna get in on the wiggle action. You can, can you see my head? Hi. Don't do this at home, I'm on a bench. Um, Cause I want you to see Oh, my right foot wants to wiggle. And just imagine my toes are wiggling in my booties. Um, I really don't want to show you my toes. They're in no, <laughs> they're shy. Let's just say, let's just say my toes are shy. Oh, but these ones are not. Look at the Don't tell the toes. Okay, these are getting on a wiggle action. Very good. Oh, okay. So now I they're all kind of like oh. moving all over my body, these all wiggles. The yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, the wiggles are moving all over my body. <laughs> gentle though, gentle. Like, do not, do not 
go too crazy where you hurt yourself, right? Yeah. Don't want to do that. I might have accidentally stepped on your toe. That's okay. okay. I didn't feel it. And wiggle, 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 freeze. Nice breathing, Caitlin. And wiggle, 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 freeze. Ooh. Like my pose? I love my pose. And wiggle, 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 freeze. Wiggle, 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 freeze. Wiggle, 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 freeze. And wiggle, 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 freeze. Oh, all right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Oh, breathe. Oh, breathe. In through your nose, out through the mouth. Relax. Oh, that made my body really warm. That was the point. How's your body feeling? Feels nice and cozy. Nice and cozy, but we're not done yet, folks. Oh no, we're not. We are gonna start with another one of my favorite warm-up exercises. Once again, be very gentle with your bodies. And this is how it goes. We're gonna start really small. A small, oh, Caitlin is so small. She has disappeared. She is microscopic. Oh, so we start really small. Small, 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 small. And then grow as big as you can, really slowly. Stretch it out. Really stretch, 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 stretch. And when you can't get any bigger, then start to get small again. Get small again. And if you're Caitlin, you're going to be microscopically small. Oh, excellent. And so small. And then once I get here, I start to grow as big, 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 big. Big, oh look at Caitlin's growing. Big as I can, go as big as you can. Oh my gosh, she's so big, she's touching my face. And then get small, 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 small. And grow, 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 grow. And small, 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 small. Here's a cool thing from small to big, if you have the space, I have very limited space here, but if you have the space, you can actually move through your space from small to big. So here's an example, small, and grow, 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 grow. I'm moving, 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 moving to big. And from big, I shrink, 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 but move while I shrink to super small. And from small, I'm going to start growing and moving, 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 moving to big. And from really big, I start shrinking to really, really small and move, 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 small. Oh, I am small. I am small. And now we are going to go to normal. Normal, normal. Normal, 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 normal. My body's warm. I don't know about you, but my body's so warm. Very nice. Okay. Thank you for warming up your bodies with me and with Caitlin. Great. After warm up, body warm up done. After warm up, voice. Let's get to it. We are just going to do some really simple um, tongue twisters. And how this is going to work is you are just going to repeat after me. But first, let's establish a rhythm. All right? So let's do this. You want to stand up, okay, so they can see you? I just started reading. Oh, okay. We're establishing our rhythm. Repeat after me. Eight icky icicles. 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 
eight icky insects. Big black bug. Big black bug. Great. Big black bug. 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 Purple peanut butter. 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 together. Mm -hmm. So I'll do it first and then you repeat after me. Yep. Ready? Yep. Oh, okay. The big black bug put purple peanut butter on teeny tiny toast. The teeny tiny toast. Go! Big black bug put purple peanut butter on teeny tiny toast. Teeny tiny toast. My turn. The big black bug put purple peanut butter on teeny tiny toast. Teeny tiny toast. Go! Big black bug put purple peanut butter on teeny tiny teeny tiny toast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like you all want to go faster. Yeah. She definitely wants to go faster. So how about this? We will go faster and we will do it together. No more repeating after me. We are going to do this together. Are you ready? Yeah! 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 Establish our rhythm first. Ooh, that's fast. Okay, ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. Wait! <laughs> 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 Sorry, I need to do that again. <laughs> Was it a bit too fast for me? But you wanted to go faster, so we're gonna go faster. We will first establish our rhythm. One, two, one, two, three, four. The big, big black, black bug put purple peanut butter on teeny tiny toast. Teeny tiny toast. The big black bug put purple peanut butter on teeny tiny toast. Teeny tiny toast. The big black bug put purple peanut butter on teeny tiny toast. Teeny tiny toast. Wow. Did you see how I crashed and burned? <laughs> I hurt my legs. Oh, it hurt her legs. My, my crash and burn hurt her legs. Well, like, like what? The... Oh, that, yeah. See, you gotta be gentle when you do that. You gotta be gentle. You gotta be gentle and friendly with your body, and right? Tired. Ooh, and she's tired again. <laughs> That's okay. All right, <laughs> so we warmed up our voices. Very nice. Thank you for doing that with me, and thank you for witnessing me crash and burn. Yeah. Sometimes we crash and burn. No big deal. I have no idea how to, how to do that. Oh, oh, she has no idea how to crash and burn. Well, with our next exercise, maybe you will. <laughs> Caitlin, can you grab my bag? Yay! I love it. Okay, so we just warmed up our bodies. We just warmed up our, our voices. Now we are going to warm up our imaginations. Oh, Caitlin loves warming up her imagination. She has, Caitlin, by the way, has a, a really whew, big imagination. Yeah. Um, uh, my profession requires me to have an imagination. You probably already have one. And it's probably more colorful than mine because, oh, Mama's getting old. That's okay. So let's take our two fingers. Do this, warm up the thumbs and forefingers. Caitlin's very serious. <sighs> Please don't think I'm silly. Okay, you can think I'm silly. <laughs> this is what I do to turn my imagination on. I just... You're not gonna do it with me? I just, it just comes to me. Oh, it just comes to her. I have to turn it on, it just comes to her. 
So you could do this with me, turn it on, or if you're like Caitlin, it just comes to you. Lucky. All right, so this cool improv exercise can be done by yourself, okay? So in my wonderful bag, I got an idea, not a sponsor. It's a bag of, it's a bag of imagination. Oh, it's a bag of imagination. Um, I'm gonna pull out an object, an everyday object, and the idea is to transform that object just with our imaginations, not by literally ripping it apart. We are going to transform the object using our imaginations, with. right? And have a moment with that transformed object, and then you're done. Grab a new object, right? So we're, Caitlin and I are gonna, we're gonna do this right now. What could be in here? Whoa. So in real life, this is <laughs> a lamp that's run out of batteries. A lamp that's run out of batteries, but my imagination is gonna say it is a I am in outer space. I am some sort of satellite. All right. <sighs> cool. Yeah, you can do it. Caitlin's turn. Oh, whoa. In real life, this is a flashlight. Oh, yeah, don't flash <laughs> it in their eyes. In real life, this is a what? Flashlight. Um, in uh, make believe life, it is a. I'm trying to think. Who's trying ah. to think? Oh, she just broke it. I didn't mean to. What is it in make believe life? I'm so Thinking, you have three seconds, that's the thing. You okay. Can't. okay, ready? Three, two, one. What is it? It is an eye maker. An eye maker. The reason I did that is because when I shine it, it looks like an eye. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. Caitlin and I will give you 10 seconds to grab two everyday objects. They could be recyclables, like this or whatever you have in the house, whatever. Yeah. You have 10 seconds to grab two objects. Now go, go, 10, nine, eight, eight. Wait, wait. Okay. nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two objects. If All right. you don't, that's okay. <laughs> but if you don't, that's okay. That's so true. So let's do this together. We're going to do this together. All right. Let's grab an object. One more thing. Okay. I'm grabbing an object. You grabbed the spiky pink ball. <laughs> I grabbed the spiky pink ball. You grabbed a, I don't know. So okay. in real life, this is a spiky pink ball. But in make-believe life, this is a oh I found the pink ruby gem that was missing for generations. I found it in the basement. Oh of what? Of life. <laughs> the basement of life. Kayla wants to do another one. Why not? I love you. Kayla loves this game. All right. I'm just gonna grab one. Kayla's gonna grab one. I'm just... Well, but you're you're out of view. Whoa. All right. Whoa. <laughs> okay. In real life, this is an exercise band that gets very little use. Yeah. Don't judge me. But in make-believe life, this is a... Oh, what's that? Yeah, you might not really see it. So you have to come here. Why don't you stand on here? So they're gonna stand on the bench. Like, yeah, yeah, right there. And then what? Ooh. Oh, right. Caitlin, are you fishing? Yeah. 
the exercise band became a fishing thing. Fishing rod. <laughs> fishing rod. Excellent, I, excellent. I like to play with this and you do that. Nice. Woo! Hey, friends at home, this is uh, an, an improv exercise you could do at home by yourself or you could do it with friends, right? Yay. Just uh, say you sit in a circle or maybe it's like this and we just uh, pick up everyday objects and turn them into something else. Have a moment and then pass it on or, or put it away and pick up another one. It's just a fun little mm -hmm. improv game to, to uh, just warm up your imagination. That's all it is. Great. So everything is firing, our bodies are warm, our voices are warm, our imaginations are warmed up. Now we can, um, we can move on to the nitty gritty of this workshop. Like I said earlier, I am an actor and I specialized in acting through the theater. And in theater, we like to tell stories. But the way we tell stories is special, it's special in its own way. Um, it's special because we use our voices. We also use our bodies, right? And so what I would like to experiment with is body language. What are our bodies trying to communicate to the audience when we are acting? Now let's do the power pose. Right? So how is the power pose going to change how we say the words? From neutral to power pose. The sun is out. out. Great. We both got louder. Uh, my voice got deeper. Caitlin's um, was more sun confident. Yeah, more confident, right? So this is a very interesting, to me, a very interesting experiment on how body language can change how we say words. Now, what else can affect how we communicate to our fellow actors on stage? Relationship, relationship, all right? So let's say the line is, hi, how are you doing? I'm gonna say hi, how are you doing um, to my mom in a very different way than I would say it to, let's say, uh, to a baby, a baby I've never met before. So to my mom, I might say it as, oh, you wanna do it to me? Yeah. Okay, so I'm your mom. I would just say, hi, how are you doing to me? Hi, how are you? Oh, that's so nice. So it's really nice. Oh, great, thank you. And when Kayla was a baby, let's, let's put you in baby mode. Can you sit across my lap? Yeah. This is our relationship. And I would go, hi, how are you? Yeah. The relationship was kind of the same. Ma now let's try hi how are you to ooh, ooh. let's say best friends ooh best friends i think would be the same but um so, uh, someone who's mad at you a stranger is mad at you whatever you did it was an accident but a stranger is mad at you <laughs> and for some reason you were saying hi how are you so let's let's say you are the stranger and you are mad at me. Show you. Oh my God! Hi. How are you? Angry. Angry. So my relationship to the stranger, added with the fact that the stranger is mad at me, changes the way I say that one line. Right. So you try it. Hey, you try it. Um, grab a stuffy. <laughs> this is Barkley, the stuffy, and grab, if you have a stuffy or a, like, even a pillow, you can endow the pillow with pillow? feelings. You can get a, uh, with um, a personality, right? So I'm yeah, grab a pillow. My so pillow. let's say this <laughs> Barkley is my wonderful, beautiful pet that I love so much. How would I say, hi, how are you, to my wonderful, beautiful pet that I love so much? How would you say it? And go. Back with my pillow. Hi, how are you? 
How would you say, hi, how are you to your pillow? Hello, hi, how are you? Nice. And how would you say it? Nice. Now, let's say this is not my pet. Let's say this is the neighbor's dog and the neighbor's dog has run out from, uh, uh, from its yard and is growling at me. <sighs> and I clearly sense danger. So my relationship has changed with this dog. <sighs> so naturally, do you wanna hold this for me, Kitley? Naturally, my body wants to back away. And for some reason, I say, hi, hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Was yours the same kind of, sort of, kind of, kind of? What's important is, what's important to understand is that relationship with your acting partner, me and Barkley, can change how we say, how we communicate words to each other, right? Now, what else can change how we communicate with each other? We've got how we're feeling, how our bodies are feeling. We've got relationships. Um, another, another thing I'm going to say, another thing, that can um, alter how we act um, is something called given circumstances. What is given circumstances? Given circumstances is fancy actor talk for what is going on, right? Given circumstances, what is going on? So let's take the same line of text. Hi, how are you? Um, and let's take a relationship. Let's say Caitlin and I yeah. are best friends. Let's say we are best friends. And the given circumstances is uh, we are best friends and we we are best friends and we are, it's a beautiful day and we were at the beach and we are seeing each other for the first time because she went away on vacation and I stayed in the city. So we are reuniting, best friends who are reuniting. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Hi, how are you? I'm great. <laughs> I miss you so much. Great, the given circumstances. Best friends who are reuniting and it's a beautiful day. Right? How, how, how are you? We like, hugged each other. And she said she missed me so much. Fantastic. All right, now we are going to take, take the same line of text. Hi, how are you? We are still going to be best friends, but this time, I need your help, Katie. This time, let's pretend that we are in a haunted house, at like a Canada's Wonderland or something. Um, but the circum th that is the circumstance. The circumstance is, we, we get freaked out easily. We don't know why we got dared to go through this haunted house by other people, our parents, let's say. They do that sometimes. And we are going through a haunted house. And um, yep. Okay. Hi. How are you? It's good. <laughs> Let's shake it off, Caitlin. Do we have to go in this haunted house? We are not going to go in this ha haunted house. We don't want to be in those circumstances. I never go into a haunted house. Never, ever, ever. Not even, I don't go into anything that's a scary or the word haunted in it. Yeah, yeah, me neither. So, just to recap, <sighs> breathe, just yeah, to recap. Needs. How we are feeling inside can change our body language. That body language can affect how we say words, how we communicate to people. Um, relationships can affect how we communicate to that person. And the given circumstances, also known as what is going on, will also affect how we communicate to, uh, to people 
also known as our acting partners, right? So if you take any play that you are working on, those things are something that you should look at what is going on and what is the relationship to the person I am talking to and how, how is all of that affecting my body language? And then you can start playing, rehearsing your play, communicating to your acting partner, right? This is how we tell stories. Mm -hmm. oh, um, wow. Now, Fiona has a couple videos to show you what we are trying to do here. This video is, uh, I shot this with Caitlin, um, and it's just to show you um, uh, how body language affects how we talk to each other. Body language and relationships. <laughs> Yeah. 